Hey guys, Dr. Betts here and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional videos. I'll be going over chapter 8.4, which is molarity and, well, it's concentrations. But the first one we're going to start with is molarity. It's a very common um, expression for concentration that we use in, organ in organic and all chemistries. First of all, M, oh, sorry, there we go, capital M is the abbreviation for molarity, not lowercase m. Lowercase m is mass. Moles, solute. So you have to calculate the moles of whatever you're dissolving. Sodium chloride, potassium phosphate, sugar, whatever. Whatever it is, calculate the moles. You know how to do that? You take the grams of whatever you're using and divide it by the molar mass of whatever you're using. Okay? That's how you get the moles. And you divide that by liters liters of solutions it's always expressed in liters of solution okay common mistake people will not use liters they'll use milliliters or they won't use the milliliters of solution they'll use liters of added solvent or something okay it's always the total volume of solution in liters and that's molarity so here we go practice problem what is the molarity of a solution that contains 13 grams of sodium chloride and half a liter of water? 0 0.500 liters. All right, easy enough, right? We've got 13 grams sodium chloride, and we've got 0 0.500 liters total volume. Okay? Molarity equals moles of solute divided by liters of solution. Easy enough. We have this, we have volume, that goes right there. We don't have moles, so we have to figure that out. Well, luckily, we're given the formula for the thing we're dissolving, sodium chloride. So all we got to do is calculate the molar mass of sodium chloride. So it's one times sodium, one times chlorine. And I don't know what sodium is, so I'll have to look it up. Um, let me think here. What's the best way to look this up? I'll just go online on my computer. You won't be able to see this, I don't think, guys, but maybe you will. We'll find out. Nope, you won't be able to see it. Sorry, I'm just looking it up on ptable.com. And ptable.com says sodium has a mass of 22.99. Oops, that's chlorine. And chlorine has a mass of 35.45 grams per mole. All right. I just looked it up at ptable.com. You could just use any, any periodic table would have told you that. All right. Now, let me grab my calculator, which is somewhere. This is why you always keep your work area clean so you'll know where stuff is. Plus 35.45. There we go. 58. 0.44 grams per mole. That's the molar mass of sodium chloride. I'll put a square around it because I need that number. It's very important. Now, we have 13 grams of sodium chloride. I'm going to multiply that by something that puts grams and then moles on the top to give us mole sodium chloride. So 58. 0.44 and the number 1, 13 divided by 58.44 equals 0 0.22 moles. Okay? Now I rounded it to two significant figures. You could have just taken three or four. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter in this class. We don't get too strict with that. So then you plug the numbers in 0 0.22 mole sodium chloride. Divide that by 0 0.500 liters equals 0 0.44 capital M or 0 0.44 mole per liter. Now, let me be clear here. This is correct and so is this. doesn't matter. You can either say capital M as your unit or moles over liter as your unit. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. Okay? Now, I rounded it to two digits. You could have used three or four. It doesn't matter. Okay? As long as you have the ideas down 
And as long as you calculate correctly using units, uh, you'll be in good shape. Okay? And that's just how you do it. It's pretty simple. They're not hard. Now, the other way, the more common way that we see in our society is to express concentration in terms of percentage. That you've seen that a lot more. Now, there's three different ways to do it. There's volume over volume percentage, mass over mass, and mass over volume. And in this class, we focus on mass over volume percentage. Okay? So it's the grams of the solute divided by the milliliters of solution, the whole solution, guys, multiplied by 100 because obviously it's a percentage. Oops, my big old ugly face is in the way. There we go. Multiplied by 100 because all percentages are always out of 100, correct? So if you know the grams, you know the milliliters of the solution, you know the percent solution, grams over milliliters, mass over volume, okay? Again, there's other ones. There's other percentages out there, but we focus primarily on grams and milliliters in this class. Here's a question. Very, very simple. What is the mass over volume of a percentage of a solution that has 34.5 grams of calcium chloride? Sorry, pardon me, calcium chloride. <laughs> it's first thing in the morning here, guys. Sorry about this. Uh, potassium chloride. Hey, I'll just have a little sip of this and we'll be good. Coffee doesn't judge me. It just tells me how good looking I am in the morning. <laughs> it's a little joke. Now, here we go again. 34.5 grams of potassium chloride dissolved in water to a final volume of 250 milliliters. All right, this is actually a very easy question. Percent mass over volume equals mass solute divided by volume. Let me fix that. There we go. And then multiply by 100. Easy enough. And you guys are going to love how easy this question is. Let me put my face back down where I belong. Get in your corner. There we go. 34.5 grams is the solute. That's the potassium chloride. 250 milliliters. And we're going to multiply that by 100. Again, grab out your calculator. 34.5 divided 34.5 divided by 250 equals and then multiply multiply by 100 and that's 13.8 percent and then put m over v to tell the user that you determine the percentage using the mass over volume method okay now i don't think anyone here found that hard i think all of you guys were like yep pretty simple that's what i'm hoping for okay pretty simple right? And that's the end of 8.4. So we'll stop here and we'll pick it up again in 8.5. So with that, I want to wish you good luck and good chemistry.